Right, we're at Feastable, Jamie's Music and Food Festival, and I'm here with the one and only Zoe Ball. Thank Hello. you very much for having me. I have not stopped eating all day and I'm still starving. Can I have some more food, please, sir? Yes, we can do that. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to do a po' boy, but I'm going to do a prawn cocktail sauce with it, so it's a bit of a mashup. Like it. What do you think that is worth? That one bite? No. <laughs> the whole thing? <laughs> Boom! What we're going to do is we're just going to get, I'm going to dust the prawns with a little bit of flour and we're going to use some cornmeal and some Cajun seasonings. Let's just get those into the bowl. Two tablespoons of cornmeal, one regular plain flour, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. And we'll just mix all those together. Okay, so we've just mixed all those together. Big tiger prawns, which I've cut some parsley, put those through. We're just going to get those and drop them into the flour. Just put them through like that. Just get one and just drizzle it in and you can see it fizzes, yeah? So just grab a load of those bad boys and we're just going to drop them in. Okay, now, Zomeister. Oh, bit yes. of work for you. Right, okay, okay come on. I feel so, like I should do something oh. as I'm here. Now, what we're going to make is like a get out of jail, quick, simple prawn cocktail sauce. So, Perfect. I we want a tablespoon, yep. a tablespoon, a teaspoon, a teaspoon, and half a teaspoon. Okay. Spoon. I remember this. Simple. Boy. Look at that. And doesn't that look beautiful it as well? Stunning. It looks stunning. Look at that mixed up. It <laughs> is. And then a teaspoon and a teaspoon. A teaspoon of each. Can you do a teaspoon just with a, a flick? Yes. What's a teaspoon? So, that's a teaspoon. That's a big teaspoon. Keep right, going, okay. keep going, keep, keep going. going. Perfect. Yep. Nice. Okay. And then a little splash of cayenne. I'm going to put it, you put him in. And then what I'm going to do is we're just going to put a little a bit cayenne? of lemon. Yeah. Now this is going to be super spicy. So just as a bit of a twist, we're going to get some of the lime zest and just put him in. And that just lifts the whole thing. And then we're just going to put a squeeze of lemon in there as well. This is warming. <laughs> I come and have a look at the shrimp. Now you can see that this has just totally come through. It's got a little bit of the cornmeal on there that's going to give it a little bit of crunch, a little bit of flavour. It's got the Cajun seasoning in there, and the shrimp are already cooked out. Oh, you're a tiger look at that. Tiger. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? It's all right, isn't it? It's really quite beautiful. I could make that at home. I could do that myself. Nice. Okay. So we're just going to get this, and I'm just going to. Take the shrimp out. You know when they're cooked because they're beautiful and pink. So just gonna get that and just drop it on to the kitchen roll. And I know what you're thinking, Zoe. No, you can't have one, okay? You've got I'm, not, no, I'm trying to stay away from your pickles over there as well. Okay, so shrimp's done. Now we're just gonna build this bad boy. I'm gonna slice open the bun. Just gonna be a bit naughty. I'm just gonna slightly toast it. Okay, so I'm just going to very quickly do that. Don't Health do... and safety. I know. Exactly. Field day with you. I know. I'm going to report him. Now we're going to get the garnish ready. It's super, super simple. So we've got some iceberg. Give that nice bit of crunch. Okay. The edges are often limp. Yeah. <laughs> Is that you find? You've, <laughs> no. you've done an iceberg study there. <laughs> I have. Okay. Two nice slices of tomato. Toasty, toasty. Toasty, toasty bun. Wait, so. <laughs> Bit of sauce, bit of lettuce on the bottom. Then we're going to take our beautiful, amazing shrimp. Look at that. Drop those on. A little bit more sauce. It's stunning, can I say? Oh. It's like sculpture. Good on you. Food sculpture. Okay, and then that bad boy goes on the top. Oh, forgot his mate, the tomato. tomato. So then we're just going to cut this little guy open. That, my brothers and sisters, is a prawn po' boy. Boo! How much do you think this is worth? Be reasonable. Okay, I'd say uh, 560. 560? Yeah. Let's go take it out there and see what people yeah. will pay for it. All right, come on. Oh, look, look, look at all this lot here. Yeah. What's your name? Tom. We've just got this dish. Yeah. We want you to try it and tell us what you would pay for it, okay? Okay. Step up. Oh, oh, oh he's oh, good. Come on. Like him. But it hasn't been warmed. It was, it warm. was warm! We've got evidence that it's it was warm! Oh, it's it? a cold I'll let you off. I'll let you off. If you were in an expensive restaurant, what would you pay for that? I'd, uh, 
Yeah, seven pounds. Oh, man. Come on. Are you a light Tom and your baby beard? Good man. Right, You're we'll have that man. back. Brilliant. Thank you. Thanks, Let's Tom. Go. Right, now there's these two women here. Yeah. Do it. Just, just. What's your name, in. love? Megan. Where are you from? Manchester. Thank you. Megan oh, from man. Manchester. What do you think that is worth? That one bite? No. <laughs> the whole thing? <laughs> Fifteen quid. quid. Seen a mate. Seen a mate. French guy cooking in the house. <laughs> well, hello. How are you, mate? Oh. Braun got to help, oh boy. Tuck in. Go on. Now Zoe's helped me with this. Mm. Yeah, with the sauce. I stirred the sauce. It smells good. I like the stuff. Okay. Now, it's an expensive, mm. expensive meal. How much would you pay for it? You mean the quarter or the whole stuff? The whole thing. <laughs> Just for a chinky corner. So maybe. Seven, eight bucks. I like so it. So nice to come yeah, on. Yeah, see, I said five sixty, and they've <laughs> all gone up. That's amazing. Look, you still, you've been going at it for half an hour, and you've only had one. Rubbish. Right, like right. So make sure that you go over to Zoe's channel and see the video that we did together. Mm -hmm. And people, make sure you subscribe to our channels. Make sure you subscribe to Food Busker and, and Zoe Off Air. Thank you very much. Awesome. This is delicious. I would pay at least five seventy for that. <laughs>